включены. We greet you from Ukraine Crisis Media Center. Traditionally, we have the um, UCMC and Dobra Project Community Spokespersons Program, and uh, we tell you about the success of reform of decentralization. And during these five years of uh, reform, we have a lot of experience in this reform, the creation of capable communities by the, their voluntary unification. And, uh, we, today we have 876 uh, communities that got united uh, with the centers in the town of regional significance. We had uh, 24 communities that uh, like this, and among these 24 um, communities, we have uh, Vesnesensk community and Vesnesensk uh, uh, town join two villages, Nova Grigorev Katkovets, and uh, about the. Uh, cooperation um, and what economic dividends they get and what prospects they uh, see for the residents and we are going to speak about uh, today and we invited uh, Mayor of Vaznitsyansk, Vitaly Lukov, our greetings, and also we have via Skype um, village uh, Elda Lyudmila Zonia. Good afternoon, Lyudmila. Do you hear us? Good afternoon. So let's start. We are interested in your community. How did you take this decision, whether it was difficult to take, and how do you explain this issue to people? Thank you, Nadia, for your question. In fact, our main achievement uh, is the term that uh, sounds in Ukrainian like your name. We got this hope, this chance, Nadia, in Ukrainian. And our dialogue was rather long term, and we were ready to get united, and uh, we were ready to go through elections. And I really thank Lyudmila and uh, uh, Grigorivka and the Rakov community, and they set aside all those intimidations when people in villages were said that uh, the town will eat you, will take resources, capitals from you, and uh, will give you nothing. And even two years ago, we underwent uh, uh, the stage of unification by this uh, uh, real unification. And we were ready to create community, but uh, uh, the Lord didn't allow us to do this. And in um, April last year, we got this gift, and psychologically, we were ready. We were waiting to make the last step, and uh, now we are the first or among the first ones in Ukraine uh, who are joined uh, by, uh, were joined by this unification. Uh, so, um, Lyudmila, uh, Lyudmila, how did uh, Vasnitsyansk uh, um, attract it like a magnet, these two villages? Lyudmila, do you hear us? No, she cannot hear us. Uh, Vitaly, the budget of Vesnesensk uh, was uh, 423 million last year, and uh, the villages had only 3.5 million. And um, in 2019, you have the joint budget. What is this budget? It's not really big. This is about 440 million. Out of them, only 120. This is the planned press proceeds of ours. And um, also, we have subvents for uh, and subsidies for healthcare and education. Previously, we've calculated our capabilities of our community and the Vaznesiansk. This is the town of regional significance. For tens of years, uh, we were living according to the laws of joint communities, and we understood that we had uh, some financial resources, uh, uh, organizational resources uh, to overcome some difficulties in the process of unification, including financial and organizational difficulties. And the uh, town is able, uh, due to its inertia, um, may deal with these problems in order to help people to overcome. And. Um, 
also in uh, September, we addressed the ministries. We said that we got united, and, and uh, uh, the last uh, uh, meeting in a uh, unification meeting happened uh, in. Uh, August and uh, uh, the, the subvents, uh, educational subvents went to the region, it went in delay, and the uh, city cares about the school and provides financing. We will, will uh, be compensated for this, but uh, if we hadn't had these resources, then in the Gregorica they would have some problems with uh, salaries uh, and uh, uh, free catering for children. and uh, uh, the. City helps to resolve these issues, and Nova Grigorievka, uh, they had their wisdom and got un uh, decided to get united with us, not with neighboring villages, because this is the opportunity for uh, quicker changes. It is difficult to change quickly. We should not deceive ourselves. Uh, we should understand the economic situation in the country, but we should use quickly these opportunities that we have in our country, because we are more powerful. We have more opportunities, even um, concerning your organization and personnel, and it adds up. Uh, Lyudmila, do you hear us? Yes, now I hear you. I wonder what was so magnetic in uh, attracting you. Well, the, the magnet uh, was uh, essentially a decision of our uh, community. After that decision uh, was made, it uh, practically, uh, uh, so to say, naturalized uh, the fact that we already uh, had a lot of had had a lot of people working in town, uh, not in our village, but. Uh, uh, was uh, it not only Rachovets but uh, the other entities uh, who took part uh, in uh, the formation of your uh, budget? Well, at each yes, after we uh, united, after we amalgamated, so to say, uh, uh, we discussed the budgetary uh, uh, issues at each meeting, at each uh, sitting of the local councils uh, of uh, all uh, levels. So my question is, uh, what are the common interests that unite Vosnesensk with uh, these uh, two villages uh, with which it has uh, amalgamated and created, established that uh, united uh, or amalgamated uh, community? Well, first of all, it's the road that uh, unites uh, uh, the town uh, and the two villages and the river. Uh, our uh, town uh, became practically a port on uh, the river Pivdeny uh, and uh, this uh, is uh, the uh, river that is uh, can be used uh, and is used by the vessels of uh, different types uh, commercial vessels uh, and we also have the uh, railway station uh, used jointly uh, and a number of uh, cultural establishments uh, including the club uh, local club of uh, our township uh, and the schools uh, at Vosnesensk. Uh, for example, we also have the swimming pool where we uh, have uh, where we uh, uh, have uh, um, training, uh, swimming training for free. It's uh, for free. Uh, it is free uh, for uh, the school children. And all these uh, components uh, that uh, make up our lives. So uh, you have heard what uh, uh, was said about uh, uh, this township. What are the advantages for your uh, community? Well, I'm, I'm sure that uh, Vitaly Dmitrovich uh, uh, was uh, uh, quite uh, exhaustive in his description of the advantages and uh, what could uh, what else could I mention uh, he practically mentioned all listed all the advantages uh, that uh, uh, there are 
uh, regrettably, we have quite uh, poor communi com uh, quite poor link, uh, TV link with uh, you. Uh, so, what? Uh, getting back uh, to your uh, town, uh, have uh, there been uh, any uh, uh, debates, heated debates, any controversies uh, before you took that decision? Had there been any of, of these of those? Uh, no. Uh, I'd say that uh, a number of uh, areas uh, were already uh, closely uh, linked, closely related uh, to uh, the township and uh, the life uh, of uh, the town of Vosnesensk. Uh, but uh, certainly the authorities uh, discussed uh, with the public, with the members of the public, uh, all these, uh, all, all the problems that existed. Uh, for example, at Novogrigorivka, uh, now, this, these discussions uh, have spread to Novogrigorivka. It's not only, they not only uh, took place, uh, uh, or are even now taking place uh, at uh, Vosnesensk, but uh, also at these uh, two villages that uh, joined uh, up uh, that uh, amalgamated community. And so uh, the discussions uh, uh, were mostly centered on uh, budgetary issues, but, uh, for example, uh, I can uh, tell you that one of the recent decisions uh, decided uh, was uh, to allocate uh, some money to uh, Novogrigorivka uh, and uh, uh, the town of Vosnesensk was not supposed to get any of that uh, money, but uh, I can assure you that uh, by developing uh, Novogrigorivka uh, and uh, the rural areas adjacent to Vosnesensk, uh, uh, Vosnesensk uh, itself, the town itself, would uh, benefit, will benefit strongly. So we now have uh, the plan of action and uh, uh, the development plan for uh, our whole uh, territory. And uh, in uh, that uh, action uh, plan and development plan, uh, we uh, uh, do not uh, have any uh, 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 land, uh, for example, uh, any plots of land for cultivation, agricultural cal cultivation, and all this development would uh, benefit uh, thus both the villages uh, and their way of life and uh, the town of uh, uh, Vosnesensk. It, uh, our decisions, I hope, uh, aimed uh, those aimed at development would bring about also the new uh, jobs. Uh, Besides uh, that plan, uh, development plan that y you mentioned, uh, uh, as we know, uh, the uh, uh, territory is uh, basically agriculture, uh, agriculture oriented. What are the other uh, uh, aspects of uh, this, of, of the development of that territory? Well, uh, it wouldn't be an exaggeration to say that uh, our populace uh, massively moves to town. It's not, uh, it's universal now, all over Ukraine. It, uh, it's not only uh, uh, valid for uh, our territory, but the other parts of the country too. As uh, we know, in the rural areas, uh, you do not have a lot of uh, areas uh, where uh, a lot of uh, or some significant uh, added value is, uh, you know, generated. Uh, people certainly understand that, and so they move to towns. And. Uh, for example, uh, around Vosnesensk, uh, we have uh, a number of uh, canyons, uh, a number of uh, uh, beautiful uh, uh, tourist sites, uh, the gorges, and uh, uh, we hope that uh, it will. Uh, our development plans are include both uh, some uh, uh, small local industries development and also uh, the. Uh, development of the territory as a good place for living. 
Well, I've heard of your plans uh, uh, to issue the cards, uh, so to say, identity cards uh, for the residents of uh, Wozniczensk uh, that could be used also for some financial purposes. What are these cards? Well, uh, it's uh, the cards for the residents uh, of Wozniczensk, uh, uh, first of all for the pensioners, uh, people of uh, the, the age, of the pension age. And, uh, for example, if uh, if someone comes uh, to our town and use some public transport, uh, means of public transport, um, for example, local buses, bus routes, uh, they would pay five uh, grivnias, uh, but the local uh, pensioners uh, uh, would, uh, upon showing their cards uh, of the residents of Wozniczensk, they would not pay anything at all. They would, pay, would pay nothing at all, and uh, so uh, uh, this is a method of uh, social support, so to say, social assistance to uh, the most uh, vulnerable and less well-off categories of uh, our population. Um, we have uh, created a database containing the data of all uh, the residents uh, of uh, uh, our area. And uh, uh, these cards, they are electronically equipped uh, so that using those cards, uh, or the, the, these cards, uh, they contain uh, the information uh, that uh, uh, validates the access to that database, uh, uh, producing the data on uh, the citizens and their entitlements. And so with these cards of uh, the residents of Wozniczensk, uh, uh, for example, if a person uh, would uh, uh, need uh, or needs uh, to go to a hospital, for example, uh, emergency care. Uh, if a person has uh, uh, this uh, card uh, on him or her, uh, uh, this card could uh, use, could be used uh, uh, for immediate access to all the information that is needed by the doctors. Uh, for example, if uh, a person is in an emergency care department, uh, it could uh, uh, this card uh, could significantly facilitate and speed up uh, the process of uh, getting the information, uh, medical information about that uh, person. Uh, Mr. Bila, uh, you've heard of uh, these uh, new opportunities. What's the view of uh, the rural uh, residents? Uh, uh, well, the rural uh, residents certainly understand that uh, these uh, electronic means uh, are quite useful uh, because they provide uh, better uh, medical services, uh, some discounts uh, in uh, commercial establishments, uh, in uh, uh, shops and stores, also public transport. Uh, the, uh, not uh, all, uh, the cards were, have not yet been issued to all the residents of uh, uh, our community, but uh, the process continues and uh, we uh, are uh, fully uh, uh, supportive uh, of, uh, these, uh, uh, of these uh, developments. Well, you have heard of uh, the medical reform and controversies and debates that surround it. You probably heard a lot about uh, uh, varying uh, assessments of, of this medical reform on TV uh, and uh, in, in the media. What's your view and what is uh, what are the perceptions at uh, uh, the level of your uh, community of Wisniewski? Uh, a territorial community? Well, I'd say that uh, I entirely support uh, the efforts of uh, the Minister of uh, Health and Healthcare, and uh, I bow symbolically to uh, her for her efforts. I am aware of the problems that they have, uh, in, uh, especially in the primary uh, uh, care t tier, so to say, of, of uh, the medical, uh, of the healthcare system. And uh, I contact them uh, often, and uh, we uh, 
I know that, for example, uh, the that medical, uh, the so-called family doctors established by that medical reform, they uh, on average receive uh, the average uh, figure for Ukraine uh, of their salary is around 17,000 hryvnias. Uh, at Vosnesiansk, uh, their salaries are seven to eight uh, thousand hryvnias, not more. The nurses uh, earn even less, and we try to support uh, them. Um, uh, but I'd say that generally uh, the uh, fund uh, that they have, uh, or the, the money that they have in the, this uh, uh, national budget uh, health care fund uh, uh, that is meant specifically for uh, and addressed specifically for uh, uh, the health care uh, uh, operators, the doctors, the nurses, and all the other uh, categories of personnel. At our, in our territory, uh, and the, this money allocated for the medical uh, personnel of our territory uh, is sufficient. And, uh, uh, for example, uh, my wife, uh, she works in the secondary uh, uh, medical assistance uh, tier. Uh, we, uh, I see that uh, uh, certainly it's a good approach uh, that uh, not that the salaries and incomes uh, of uh, the medical uh, uh, employees uh, of various types uh, is not related to the number of people uh, uh, residing in the territory, but uh, to the number of medical visits uh, uh, this or that medical specialist received. Uh, And in our uh, conversation, uh, we have, uh, I have not yet mentioned uh, the problems. We certainly are aware of the problems that exist both in healthcare and in many other areas like public transport and um, lots uh, of other areas. Uh, speaking about education, uh, uh, I would say that uh, it's for the first time uh, that with this decentralization uh, reform uh, we uh, got an opportunity to spend some uh, money on uh, uh, for, for uh, educational, for the re-equipment of uh, educational f uh, facilities. For example, the schools for the first time in the previous 10 years uh, got some real money to buy new furniture and, uh, you know, new equip equipment. Uh, uh, I remember yet uh, the uh, previous uh, system uh, when we were uh, sad, uh, when we were told uh, by the authorities that the Soviet Union was the best system in the world and we lived in the best possible conditions. And uh, we were under that impression, uh, we had been under that impression until we were shown uh, uh, the realities uh, of uh, the, some other countries. And uh, I remember uh, the situations when uh, I was approached uh, by uh, the school teachers uh, uh, who were uh, complaining about low level of knowledge uh, among uh, the school pupils. Uh, um, and my reply to them uh, was that if you are specialized in physics, uh, for example, you, you only teach physics, uh, uh, you probably do not know biology or, or uh, some other uh, subjects. Why do you expect all school children to be experts in all uh, the subjects that are taught at school? So that was my approach. Um, uh, why I mention that? Because I would like to draw a parallel between the school pupils and the citizens of our country who are, uh, uh, I would say, tired of these lengthy reforms, uh, the reforms that are uh, protracted in time for years and years. People uh, have got tired of, of these uh, uh, very long reforms. Well, uh, I also wanted <coughs> wanted to uh, to ask you. Some people say that there will be 
big problems with administrative services, with documents. You didn't have such problem, but two villages joined. Do they have the problems with getting some documents? Yes, there are some problems because laws are in, de in delay. They do not follow the reform properly, and the city heads uh, were able to provide some services, the registration of marriages, uh, the registration of uh, children, and they work with the Department of Justice. And uh, now we are deprived of some responsibilities, and now there are discussions, and I thank the Association of Cities of Ukraine. They have good uh, response and they influence greatly on our uh, legislation bodies concerning some changes because there are many aspects that uh, are not envisaged in the uh, draft laws concerning decentralization, but we are trying to uh, deal with these problems properly and uh, uh, also taking into account the professionalism of the elder. Um, uh, the uh, elder is uh, constantly working with us in the city, and uh, we discuss all the important issues, and um, we try to resolve them quickly. So um, we um, uh, so if the head uh, doesn't have a meeting, each person can come and uh, will have a meeting with the head. And uh, also we have uh, ASC and we open it before the revolution and it works, it broadens constantly and we really hope that we do everything to the maximum and we understand that we uh, have some mistakes and we understand that we cannot move some things forward, uh, but we got this job and we should do it properly. And people, uh, we hope that people will trust us uh, during next elections. So I would like to reveal one more problem, the problem of communal services. I know that two villages that joined, they have problems with the uh, waste management. And uh, um, what is your opinion about uh, the resolution of this problem? And how do you move in this direction? Yes, uh, it, it looks like a question that was prepared in advance. And uh, the first joint project with the Dobre was the management uh, of of waste in the rural area because uh, there was no centralized uh, uh, taking out of these waste before and um, uh, bef we, first we had a meeting with people we chose uh, first people proposed 10 steps and uh, we chose uh, the provision of uh, uh, the um, the, uh, we uh, chose this uh, project concerning waste disposal and uh, the buying of uh, waste bins, uh, special containers that uh, will be provided to the villagers. And uh, now we uh, compile the schedule for taking the waste out and the uh, communal transport uh, will be uh, used and uh, will be containers in each yard and there will be a schedule and the waste will be taken away to the certified uh, uh, landfill that is in the territory of uh, Novogorodovska Village Council. Uh, Lyudmila, a question to you. I know that uh, when they start to um, deal with uh, solid uh, domestic waste, some people uh, who uh, didn't get accustomed to pay for uh, these uh, uh, services, they are in delay in payment uh, for such services. And what is the situation in your region? Yes, there are difficulties, but until now we didn't take away this waste. That's why we do not have such experience. We took away the waste before. And uh, some people just uh, put their wastes uh, somewhere in the territory of the, their neighbors. And now we discuss this issue with people. Maybe there are several people. You understand that uh, there are people who uh, 
oppose this, but uh, we um, to our villages are going to deal with this and bring this garbage out. Uh, so you said that uh, you have great people and great young people, and what do you mean by saying this? I believe that, that there are not many towns uh, uh, like Vesnysensk, they can say they have about 10 um, youth organizations that uh, earn uh, money for the activity, they get proper salaries, and uh, they deliver the activities properly, and youth organization can be formal, and uh, it can be active. Um, and uh, due to uh, the, its proceeds, uh, this organization can support itself. And in Vaznitsensk, we have organizations like this, and they are really active. And uh, uh, we have um, partner relations with them, and they often criticize us, but often they are partners in joint projects because uh, we really need each other. And uh, uh, we uh, can implement uh, infrastructure projects together. And the young people come to us and they say, for example, we want to study corruption component in the activity of power and how uh, we can prevent this corruption or how we can uh, change the environment to take away this corruption possibilities in order to reduce this uh, drives for corruption uh, for those people who are in office. So we invite these people uh, to study gender issues in the territory of the community and also study the administrative quality services quality. So uh, it doesn't bring funds uh, practically, but for us to establish the priorities in our activity, to identify these pain points, uh, um, proper analytical data is needed. And uh, um, if, for example, I uh, invite Razumkov Foundation to carry out this research, uh, will be, it will be too expensive. And uh, But young people bring this uh, uh, grant providers, and uh, we see that uh, we can study these issues and we can see those things that are of concern uh, for people. And uh, there we send, uh, um, uh, we try to put all our efforts. Uh, and uh, uh, last year uh, we didn't have much money for repair of roads, but uh, we repaired some um, big, uh, um, uh, we had some major repairs of roads. And uh, uh, next year we will uh, do also major repairs of roads because my ordinary repairs, they, uh, they take away a lot of money, but does, uh, do not bring um, a lot of uh, changes. That's why we will deal with the major repairs of, of road. And uh, we need opinion of young people, and this gives us opportunity to uh, have uh, 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 to reduce the number of mistakes. So uh, you are in the list of the most progressive uh, city heads in Ukraine, and this is the achievement of your team. Uh, would you like to bring uh, your community of Vesnysiansk uh, to be the uh, one of the uh, among the leaders of the communities in Ukraine? Uh, so we would like that uh, um, people trust us, and uh, uh, we do not want to say that we are better than someone else. Uh, uh, it is like uh, to say that uh, we are, for example, more beautiful than others. People assess your work. Uh, they greet you, and uh, as the Prime Minister said, um, it is nice when people uh, greet you well, uh, when you are not city head anymore. And uh, we should work properly in order to um, have good results. So to give, uh, today we were uh, speaking with Lyudmila Tsonya, um, village um, elder, and Vitaly Lukov, mayor of Vesnysiansk. Thank you.